Has Panasonic created the perfect YouTube camera? The Lumix G9. Let's check it out. What's up everybody, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. I've been on the hunt for the perfect YouTube camera for months now. I started off with a Panasonic G7, I since then moved to a Sony camera, I've used point and shoots, I've used DSLRs, I've used action cameras, I've used cell phones, I've used Panasonic, Sony's, all sorts of cameras, but I think I found the best all around YouTube camera, even though it's marketed as a photography camera. We won't fault we won't fault it for that. Now there are a few things that I consider mandatory if you're gonna call something a YouTube camera. Number one, flip screen. Everybody mentions the flip screen as a requirement, but that's only because it's no kidding the most important thing a camera can have to make a YouTube workflow easier. Yes, you can get a monitor, but that wastes time. Having a flip out screen makes making videos so much easier, like an order of magnitude easier. Number two, autofocus. If you are filming yourself, having a good autofocus is almost as important as the flip out screen in making your videos, no kidding. And that's one of the ways that Panasonic usually gets beaten up is that they don't necessarily have as good of autofocus as Canon's and Sony's do. But the Lumix G9 is supposed to have their best autofocus yet, so I'm really excited to check it out. And third, and if you know me, you know what this is gonna be, stabilization. Having built-in stabilization when you're by yourself just makes it so much easier. You don't have to worry about trying to do a gimbal. You can just hold, get stable footage, and go. And just anything that makes making videos easier is a good thing for you too. And the G9 has some of the best stabilization currently on the market. It's, I can't wait to show it to you because it's incredible. Now we've been talking about all the great things this camera can do. But first, we gotta get it out of the box. Now, this is just an initial impressions video of mine. This is not a full review. I've only had this camera for a day now. Uh, so we'll do a more in-depth review in the future. If you have something you wanna see out of this camera, leave a comment below and I'll make sure that I add it in my tests. But let's check out some footage and do an autofocus test of the G9. Cause like I said, that's one of the most important things, right? Let's see if it actually is any better. <laughs> impressions of the G9. Now I'm not sponsored by Panasonic, nobody provided this to me, I pre-ordered it and then canceled the pre-order and then bought it when they actually started shipping. So nobody gave this to me, this is straight 100% my own opinions. I think Panasonic has created something special here. And this is the most expensive camera I've ever owned, but seriously, it's like they built a camera perfectly designed for making YouTube videos. I have never felt so good about a camera straight out of the box. I love the dual card slots. I love the huge EVF. I love the stabilization. I love the 1080p at 180 frames per second. I love the 4K at 60 frames per second. I love the autofocus. I love that you can use the camera with an included charger so you don't have to buy a dummy battery and you can just live stream without worrying about battery life straight from the camera. 
That's so awesome. I love the huge battery. I just really like this camera. I cannot wait to keep using it. I'm so excited to start shooting videos with it. It just, it has blown me away in the short amount of time I've had it. If you have any questions or if there's anything you wanna see out of the Lumix G9, just leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them in my future tests. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button down below. We do tech videos every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can fall in love with this camera, legitimately, you can do the same. Thanks for watching.